to part four of my uh, Litany Entertainment trash video. I want to talk about another Saturday morning block uh, from my childhood. That being CBS Kids Saturday morning lineup. They had several. At first, they were called CBS Kids. Well, during my time, I did not grow up before the 90s, so I can't really answer that. I'm just going through what I remember. Then at some point in the 2000s, they became Nick Jr. slash Nickelodeon on CBS. Then in 2007, they rebranded to KOL Secret Slumber Party. In 2008, they changed the name to Coopolis. And then Cookie Jar TV was the last block ever shown on the uh, CBS Saturday morning lineup. And I'm going to go through each uh, Saturday morning block through what I remember. On CBS uh, Kids, this is the wrong logo, but this will have to do. CBS Kids was basically, they had uh, programming. I'm just going to go through the shows I remember. So if I forget to mention a show, that's not my fault. It's just I never grew up watching that. I mostly remember Wheel 2000, which was basically the kids' version of Wheel of Fortune. One of my good friends actually hates Wheel 2000, and I don't blame them. It could use some improvements. If I ever relaunched Wheel 2000, it would obviously be called Wheel 2020, but it would have some elements more closer to the real Wheel of Fortune. Then we've got Jep, which is basically Jeopardy. I actually kind of like Jep. It's a well-brilliant uh, concept for the show, even though the penalty uh, concept is... Uh, questionable. I mean, the first one, basically a batch above you gets cooked. The second one, they drop the batch on you, which I don't mind. Most people mind the third penalty where you get locked out for one question, which I am i don't know how to respond to that, but basically, instead of playing for cash, you play for points on JEP. And each question can be worth uh, 100 to 500 points. You just hit the button to stop the value. There's also daily doubles just like the real Jeopardy. And then you got the Jep Squad, which is basically your video clues where they show people at a certain location. If you have the most points uh, at the end, you play for one or two prizes. You get third place can pick prize A or B. Second place pick a bigger prize A or B. And uh, first place gets the grand prize A or B. There was also other game shows um, like Click, which was presented by Ryan Seacrest, which I think is a really brilliant game show. I would love to see that get revived, where it basically you answer trivia questions and then uh, other players can get points, and whoever has the most points moves on to the bonus round. Then you got Tales of the Crypt, which is basically like a haunted house version of Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's a really good one. I totally recommend checking out Tales of the Crypt. It's a great game show. Basically, you got two teams battling uh, a haunted house. The best way I can describe it is basically like the kids' version of The Estate of Panic, which is also a good show. Those are the shows I remember watching on CBS Kids uh, back in the 90s, and I've been re-watching them. I'm basically a game show fan. Now let's talk about Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. on CBS. This is the older logo before they became Nick Jr. on CBS once again. From 2001 to 2002, they were Nick Jr. on CBS. From 2002 to 2005, they were Nick on CBS. Except this logo was used from 2002 to 2004. In 2004, they basically turned the Nick part, instead of being a ball, just like their 80s logo, sort of, they turned it into a splat, because obviously most people know that the Nickelodeon logo was a splat at the time instead of a orange ball. <laughs> but in the 2000s, they had programming like Pelswick, um, let's see, Blue's Clues and Dora the Explorer were on the Nick on CBS block. Little Bill was there as well. Um, I'm just naming a few shows at the top of my head, so if I forget any, I do apologize. The Wild Thornberries was on there. Um, there was also, um, eventually in 2003, they added Chalk Zone and Rugrats. Let's see what else was on the block. I think All Grown Up was on the block uh, later in its run before it became Nick Jr. on CBS. Those are the shows I mostly remember watching on the block. So if I forget any other shows, I do apologize. Then when it became Nick Jr. on CBS, I remember watch. I don't remember watching the Nick Jr. block in early 2000. I watched it when Piper Opossum was the host. He hosted both the block on CBS and the actual channel at the time. 
they had the backyard again. They had Blues Clues. They had uh, several other shows, if I remember at the top of my head, but that's all I can remember. So, sorry. In 2007, they became KOL Secret Slumber Party. Unfortunately, I only watched it for a few shows. Now, most of the programming they had were aimed towards girls. Um, let's see what they had. They had Liberty Kids, which I really love. They had um, Horseland, which was okay, but it was weird. But it was all right. They also had, um, I think Sabrina the Animated Series was on the block. Correct me if I'm wrong. They had a competition show known as Dance Revolution, which, by the way, was awesome. They also had Cake, which was basically like a web series, similar to iCarly, but slightly a bit different. They basically do crafts on how they do crafts. It's a really good show. I kind of wish this show kept going on instead of being yanked off. This is a show they should have kept. Um, they also had, um, let's see if I remember any of the other shows on the Madeline was on there. That show I watched a lot on Playhouse Disney. I really like uh, Madeline. It was a classic. Um, and those are the shows I can think of at the top of my head. Then they rebranded to Coopolis. They got rid of the host where it was basically like a slumber party. They just basically had a voiceover saying, You're watching Coopolis! The programming pretty much stayed the same until they rebranded to Cookie Jar TV. So that's all I'm going to say about Coopolis because I never watched Coopolis um, except for, as mentioned, a Dance Revolution and Cake. Cookie Jar TV had basically programming owned by Cookie Jar uh, Entertainment. They had uh, Busy Town Mysteries, which is a spinoff to the busy world of Richard Scarry. It's actually pretty good. Um, they had uh, The Doodle Bops, which um, was an alright show. The animated version was meh. The original one uh, was okay. But they also had, um, I don't remember any of the other shows. I mostly watched it for, again, Busy Town Mysteries, which was an alright show. So, yeah, I don't have much uh, memories of Cookie Jar TV. But when I heard they turned into CBS Dream Team, that was pretty sad. Even though I didn't watch much Cookie Jar TV at the time, I only watched it for Busy Town Mysteries. So that's basically my uh, remembrance of uh, the CBS Saturday morning block I grew up with. I didn't watch much of this because I was busy with the other ones that were on Fox, uh, WB slash CW, um, and uh, ABC. So I can't really tell you most about the shows I watched on. Uh, the CBS Saturday morning block. But if you remember what you grew up watching, feel free to mention that in the comments. So in conclusion, thanks for watching. In part four, I will be talking about, uh, well, I'll let you guys vote. Which would you rather hear? My memories with the Fox Saturday morning lineup or uh, the NBC lineup. So that's for you to decide. Till then, thanks for watching.